Hi, and welcome back to another vlog on Annie's Diary. In this um, update today, I'm going to put new seals in the calipers. We'll basically do a, a front caliper rebuild. I know um, you would have seen a couple of videos ago that I had painted the calipers. That was with the intention that um, I was going back to work and that's now not happening. Um, my employers have put me on the furlough scheme because um, there's not enough work for all of us in the office so I'm having to um, be part of the furlough. Um, so with that it gives me more time to do more work on the car. So I just decided hey let's just um, rebuild the calipers now rather than rebuild them later on in the year. I'll get it over and done with and um, that way I know it's done because I've got more time. So anyway, this is the day after um, I've done the brake um, disc repaint. Um, so let's have a look at the brake discs and see how they're looking now. I've taken the tape off and also we'll get a look at the new parts um, that we're going to use to rebuild the calipers. This is how the brake discs look now. I've taken the tape off and I'm sure you'll agree they look a hell of a lot better and um, that little bit of paint it just gives them a bit of a lift so very happy with that the paint's still, still soft so what I'll do is I'll take the discs into the house and um, let them dry off in there Any who delivery the seal kits have came from Mini Mine. Um, these came separately um, a day before. So I'm guessing Royal Mail are um, obviously prioritising parcels. But as usual with Mini Mine, very, very fast delivery. Um, it only taking two days for these to come and three days for the Caliper Rebuild Kit. Normally with Mini Mime, you get them the following day, if not after two days. But given the hard times that we're in at the moment, Mini Mime again, they've they've delivered. You know, really good. Um, they're a really good supplier. So if you haven't used Mini Mime, I'd certainly recommend them. You know, the guys are top notch. You know, never a problem with their stuff either. So this is today's job. We're going to get these caliper seals into the new calipers and um, a couple of the guys on the last video, the repaint video when I painted the calipers, they gave me some tips on how to install these seals. So thank you Jimmy the Piggy and um, Jimmy Maxwell. I'm not sure if he's one and the same but um, anyway guys, thanks for your um, valuable um, input and I'll certainly be um, taking your advice on board. So, let's um, crack on and get these uh, calipers overhauled. Here's some of the tools that I'm going to be using during the rebuild. Um, grips, like Stilson type, just so that I can hold the, the pistons while I'm popping them out with the airline. I've put a little bit of tape around this, um, so that it forms a seal when I take the bleed nipple out and that will let me um, push the pistons out using compressed air. I've got a little pick here for um, picking out the, the old seals. A 716 and a 58 socket. The 716 is to remove the, the bleed nipple and the 58 is to separate the bolts from the, well, break the caliper in half. Um, obviously a wrench some rubber grease for putting the seals back in and a little rag just so that I don't scrape up the, the um, caliper too much when I put it in the vise. So that's what we're going to be using so I'll put you into a better position and we'll um, crack on with the job. Right let's get um, these pistons out. Just going to lock it off in the vise And using these, I need to get another rag. 
using these and the air line I'm going to push the back piston out so if I grab my air line have that ready I'm just using a rag here to side you can see where I'm going to put it. Right, that's that piston held. Right, I'm just going to stick the airline in, in where the brake pipe would go and um, we'll blow that out. Let me get a better grip on this piston. But I'll need to hold it for this side. Right, that's me grip that piston so I'm going to pop this one out you'll hear a little pop and that's that one out I've got a funny feeling I might have to tap that one out with a with a punch but we'll give it a try first Yep. What I'll do is I'll just tap that out with a little punch. That fits in there nice. So that's just a little flat headed punch there. And uh, a couple of taps and that will pop out. There we have it. That's brought out the, the old seal just as well. I'm replacing these now. now look at that. that seal's twisted. And it is very brittle. I can barely move that. There we go. And there is a little bit of corrosion there. So yeah, just as well we are replacing them now. So now, we're, now we need to get the, the seals out. In fact, what we can do actually is I, I can split the caliper first. That will need to take this out, but I'll take it out anyway. Get the get the power bar onto that. Right, that's the caliper split into its um, components. So I've got both halves here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up the edge here, where the outer seal will go, um, whip out the inner seals, change this seal, um, give it a clean up, and then put it back together again. It's imperative that you change this rubber seal here. You don't get that in the kit. So just bear that in mind if you do um, decide to overhaul your calipers you will have to order 
order these separately and they're only about three pounds delivered you know they're not expensive personally i think you should get them in the kit you know but you don't which is a bit of a shame um so yeah you must change these as well because if you don't change these your calipers will just start leaking at the join and you'll obviously have no brakes I now went to the following day because um, I decided just to give these another um, licky paint just to freshen them up a bit and I've already built up one caliper here as you can see and that went fairly well however what I will say is when you are building these up this rim in here make sure that's absolutely spotless um, because if it isn't you're going to struggle getting that metal ring in so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean that up even more um, until it's super shiny and super smooth and then we'll um, we'll get the we'll get the seals in it right I've cleaned up these calipers paying special attention to cleaning up the the inside here where the the seal and the metal ring is housed um, if that's not clean well you're going to struggle getting that ring in so first job is to pop the seal in now these seals you've got a thin seal and a, a thicker seal the fin seals for the inside of the caliper and the thicker seal is where your metal ring is going to go over. So before I put the, the seal in I'm just going to put some um, rubber brake grease on it um, that will help it stay inside the, inside the ring and also help keep the rubber um, nice and supple. don't need to go daft with it, it just makes it sticky and slidey um, so that it stays on 
I've got all that covered, so I can pop that inside the ring there. So that's in. What else I'll do? Just to doubly help it. Is I'll pop a little bit of um, brake fluid round here. That'll give it a fighting chance of sliding in. Just helps make that slippy. Now what I've found um, useful for pushing these in is um, this uh, bearing drift just put it in in reverse um, and that's the perfect size for the, the metal ring there so that should ensure that it goes in flat and even and uh, I've just reversed it and the reason why I reversed it on the other video um, when I was putting the wheel bearings in I don't know if you can see that there, that's all scored and that would damage the inner race on the wheel bearings so that was why um, I reversed it on that video so now you want to make sure that this goes in square and even that's a bit off there because you only get one shot with these really and you end up buggering them right let's give that sweat in too much on that side I mean it is fiddly so just take your time right I'm going to try and give that a little drift As you can see there, I've got that in nice. So next job is to pop the, the seal in the middle there. So again I'll just use some brake fluid for that. Now that just fits in the groove not to twist it Right, and that's located as well. So to help the piston go in, I'll just smear some brake fluid on the bore. <coughs> and also on the piston. This just makes it nice and slidey. Now you don't need a press or anything to pop the piston in. The piston will just go in itself. Obviously you need to push it. It will just slide in. Famous last words. There we go. Now that's one half of the piston bolt. Uh, the caliper bolt, sorry. So I'll repeat the process for the other side. Again, I want the thicker seal. A dot of um, red rubber grease. 
I've got links in the description where you can buy all this stuff, but if you're mechanically minded, you'll know where to get it anyway. And just stick that in there. Again, try not to twist it. Some people, I believe, put the pistons in first, the seal, and then the piston in first, and then the ring. Um, I don't, I don't suppose it matters really what order you put them in, as long as you're careful when you're putting them in. Now this one was a bit more fiddly to get in when I done the other side. That one seems to be going in pretty well. So again, just be careful doing this. Because if you bugger that, that metal ring, you're obviously going to have to buy a new one. Right, so that's went in fine. Give this seal a little coating of brake fluid. That's pretty well covered. If you're doing this yourself, you can save an absolute fortune. Right, and that one just snapped into position with great ease. So again, I'm just going to smear the bore with some brake fluid and also the piston. Right, that's that one in. That's went in nicely again, as you can see. Now I've left the uh, little sealing washer between the two calipers in brake fluid, so now I can just pop that and don't forget to put that in. And if you are going to overhaul your calipers, just a reminder, uh, this, this washer here isn't in the kit. trying to keep my hands clean so I don't get brake fluid on the new paintwork on the caliper. Right, now I can just um, butt this up. Remember and get it in the right way. I can only go on one way really. So you want the hole to line up with that hole there. Just for a good measure, I'll put a wee doddy brake fluid on that. Right, now I'll stick that in the, the vise and get this tightened up. Right, that's secure in there. So I'm just going to wind this up. I 
I'm not sure on the torque spec for this, so check it for yourself. Um, I'll check the torque spec later on and then I'll torque them to the required specification if I can find it. If not, I'll just make them tight like what they were when they came off. Finally, bleed nipple, stick that in so I don't forget. Just going to make that hand tight because I'll need to take that off. And finally the dust cap over the nipple. Oh, well, there we go. That's the two calipers fully rebuilt. Um, to do the job, excluding the paint, it's cost me £41. So, um, yeah, not a lot of money. Um, £38 for the, the seal kit and £3 for the, the two little seals that go in, in between the calipers. Again, I'll put links in the description where you can buy this kit. If you buy them from Mini Mime, um, the guys, the delivery is very quick, so you'll get your parts within two or three days, um, if not the following day. Um, so yeah, fully recommend um, rebuilding your calipers yourself. Saves a hell of a lot of money, you know, and uh, it also um, saves waste, you know, so you don't need to waste your money buying new parts when you can recycle and reuse and refurbish old parts. Well guys, I think we can um, wrap that video up there. Once again, if you're new to the channel, welcome and hit that subscribe button and also hit the, the bell notification icon as well. Um, that way you'll be updated as soon as I, as soon as I upload a new video. So, if you have made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.